confirmed by the contrasting clause, but let us watch and be sober. In the next verse, Paul will use the literal example of sleeping and drinking until being drunk. After that, he will explain what that means in a moral and spiritual sense by telling us how to avoid it. We are to be calm, wakeful, circumspect, and morally grounded because of knowing and adhering to the word. In acting in this manner, we will always be ready for the Lord's coming. It will not be a moment of sad surprise when it happens, but rather a moment of joyous surprise. This is what Paul's words convey. They in no wise indicate that we should be predicting the rapture, but rather we are to be in constant anticipation of it. Big difference between the two. Don't predict, anticipate. Don't predict, anticipate. That is what Paul would ask us to do. He's asking us to be sober, to think on the things of the Lord, to walk circumspectly in his presence, to apply the words of scripture to our lives in context, okay, in context, and that is how we will be ready for the Lord's coming.